Greetings. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. I appreciate you. I'm going to delve right into just shooting the breeze, just speaking from my mind, things that that's happening that we need to be aware of, that they have um, individuals, entities placed in strategic places to captivate our children. Um, I'm going to leave something in the uh, description, too, of a video of them singing about it, that we're coming after your children. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. They are strategically placed in schools, religious organizations, everywhere. They mean what they say. They're not joking. They mean it. Nothing's going to happen to them because look at that organization where it's been happening to children uh, for centuries. Nothing. And the people pay because when you pay the religious organization, when you give them money, they take that money to pay the lawsuits for them messing with children. It is what it is. You could type it in YT search, like I said, and they have a filter you could get under four minutes, 10 minutes, 20 seconds, however length you want it, however you want it, video, news real however you want it just type in there our children safe everything will come up but there's much to talk about other than the one thing that they're pushing down my throat but no not mine because I'm not receiving it but children are still being married under age here. There are still children in sex dens that need to be discussed. But they say they love children. Can we get some lobbies somewhere to talk about the children that are in sex dens? Is that not important? And how are children homeless? That's how can they go to school if they're homeless? You have to have an address. I remember there was a time it was called Aid to Dependent Children, ADC. And individuals were accused of having children because it kept the money coming. Because as long as you had children, you had a check. So how are children homeless? What about the vets homeless? Doesn't that concern anyone? Women being castrated here, right here, in the land of the free and home of the brave. The drug epidemic, Kensington Avenue, and I'm going to put that in the description below. In Philadelphia, that's the major one, but they're everywhere. Is that not worth talking about? But I'm kicking my own ass because I already know the answer. Everything is on schedule. But why is it that this place, the U.S., is the only one that want their country like that? I don't understand. 
but it's supposed to be the number one superpower and everything. Land of the free, home of the brave. God bless America. He shines, he shines his grace on thee. And other countries are trying to build up if they haven't been, you know, attacked. by those who want to super rule but other people are trying to build up I don't understand it they got a plan I'm just trying to figure it out uh, I'm going to uh, borrow someone's Rubik cube try to work that thing because this is a mystery what they're doing allowing the country to just fold Apparently, that has something to do with their plan. So, what do you do? Just ah, let it, and then you sweep it all up. While other places are building up. So, I don't understand why. I don't know what's going on here. Why can't we just build up too? Why is it? It's like total, utter destruction. On purpose. They got a plan. I just can't figure it out. I gotta get that Rubik cube <laughs> and work it. What the fuck? <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, peace. If you can find it, that's enough. Shooting the breeze for today. Help me figure this shit out. Peace if you can find it.